My name is Alan Rankin. I'm the co-founder and managing director of Target 3D. Um, we're a 3D technology consultancy. We look after customers' needs when it comes to motion capture, 3D technologies, and of course, virtual production. We are very much a hardware company. Um, we rely on creatives, on people coming to do interesting things to make this technology work and sing. And we offer a service where clients who need to adopt these technologies are able to be offered a demonstration and a workflow combination. If they may not want to invest in this technology, they may need to do a project, in which case the studio then offers them the ability to hire the studio and do that work. Target 3D has always been kind of grown from this world of, of motion capture. Our, our background's been in, in tracking various things, cameras, people, animals, um, uh, various different objects, I suppose, to a very high uh, precision. And we found that a few years ago now, two or three years ago, we were getting more and more inquiries for people who wanted to track cameras and light fixtures on set so that they could use the position and orientation of those uh, assets to, to drive uh, frustums on, on LED walls. We embarked on a journey into virtual production and we uh, have a strong relationship with Digital Catapult and their aspiration and their remit in the industry was to really try and uh, educate and disseminate information around new technologies and virtual production was, was very much part of that. So we went into a joint venture partnership with Digital Catapult that precipitated our setting up a test stage, so the virtual production test stage in Guildford, where we adopted some of this technology and really went into a research and development mode to understand how all the pieces of the technology come together. So we were there for 18 months and that precipitated our move to finding a new site we have uh, this stage here, the advanced media production stage here in Dock Street in London, and we have the advanced media production proto stage in Gateshead in the Northeast. This studio has kind of been designed to be as flexible as possible or as modular as possible. If you were gonna to go to a, a typical virtual production LED studio, you'd, you'd be working with one pipeline, one workflow, one set of rendering. But for us, you know, we, we describe ourselves as the mechanics behind content and behind creativity. And we're trying to pull together the right tools and the right team to kind of deliver on a, on a sprint or a project. So we, we did have quite a set of requirements uh, coming here into, into Dock Street for the LED wall to actually fit a wide range of purposes and different camera setups. Therefore, we needed a panel that was sub two millimeter pixel pitch. On top of this, we also needed to look into a proper color pipeline. We wanted to make sure that we are completely high dynamic range capable. In addition to which, of course, we, we want the greatest visual fidelity at the end of the day because we're working towards the camera being able to see all these pixels the best possible way it can. The Target 3D Studio features an incredible 10.5 by 3.5 meter LED backdrop to really capture the virtual world in camera. We've used the 1.9 millimeter fine pitch LED display, which is perfect for shooting the short distances and flexible enough to move and reconfigure for different shots. So behind me are Absom panels driven by, by Brompton SX40s, uh, and each of those panels has a Brompton R2 Plus receiver card built inside of it. And that's important because there's a proprietary protocol between the processors and the panels to ensure that we can get the most out of those panels. So we control the stack end to end once the video input comes into, into Brompton. And we have our own proprietary calibration system called Hydra, and using the dynamic calibration process, you've got the highest level of color accuracy possible on LED. We have pixel per pixel real-time calibration, which means when you send a specific color value into the processor, we guarantee that you get that color value out of it. We also have a feature called Shutter Sync to allow you to match the PWM timing of the LED to match exactly what the camera is doing to remove artifacts that would otherwise be on your wall and make the shot unviable. With any virtual production studio, there's so many moving parts, really tight deadlines, and um, the Target 3D team reached out so that Piesco could help them find the right LED for their requirements. We started the journey with Target 3D by bringing them into Innovation House, that's our LED experience center in Bracknell. And from there, we were able to demonstrate lots of LED products and then drill that down into lots of camera testing to make sure that we found the perfect LED product for them. So as we moved into the deployment phase for the project, timelines started to get tighter. Target 3D team were able to lean on us. We have a manufacturer accredited services where we could offer them support with the installation and the commissioning of the LED display. 
Fiesco were really helpful in our configuration of the LED seat behind us. We initially requested a, a setup and a configuration which didn't quite work. There were acoustics challenges which we didn't quite appreciate when we first set up and Fiesco were really helpful in helping us dismantle and re-set up this wall. I think what sets us apart from other uh, companies is that we're not, is, is, it comes down to that not being locked to any given specific technology. We, we try and be as hardware agnostic as we can be. You know, even in this studio alone, there's, you know, 2,000 bits of kit. It's a pretty major undertaking trying to pull together a studio that's as modular and as, as, as adaptable as, as this space is. And that's where Piesco and Abson and Brompton, who have, you know, really, um, experts in their field have been able to offer us a lot of value and, and help us shortcut some of the some of the questions that we would otherwise be wrestling with for a, for a bit longer I'm sure. It's been a learning experience over the last year. Um, we've had a myriad of productions here from performance capture shoots, we've done plate shoots, we've done CG shoots, we've done green screen shoots. We've done a myriad of training courses, master classes in virtual production and we've also spoken with lots of universities um, and companies who are trying to adopt this technology. So we've been specifying how to put these tools and packages together. So it's been really, been really productive. We're definitely starting to see a, a, a general uptake in, in both performance capture shoots and, and virtual production in camera VFX inquiries. But once you see it, once people realize how quickly they can jump to different virtual locations or use one performer to embody lots of different characters, you know, that's when the wins really start to um, outweigh the initial investments. And that's what we're really keen to showcase to people as, as, as often as we can.